All right, so let's get started with the first arrays question here. So I'm going to go to reverse to make equal. And so here's the question. At this point, you may want to pause the video and, and just read this. But uh, basically, so this is the problem description, right? So you got two arrays, A and B, of length n. Determine if there's a way to make A equal to B by reversing any subarrays from array B any number of times. So Okay, and to give you some more information about the problem here, but here's the example, right? So you're given two arrays, and if you can reverse any subarrays from array B any number of times, can you get to A? And here it's true because I guess uh, reversing the subarray from indices one to three, so if you reverse this subarray uh, in B, you get equal to A. Now, this is a bit of a weird question, I think, or a bit of a trick, because if you can reverse any subarray any number of times, that's equivalent to being able to move any two, uh, you know, swapping any two elements. Uh, so, if, you know, I would encourage you to think about that and see if you can convince yourself of that, that that's actually true. Uh, so... Again, uh, they say you can reverse any subarray, right? So that means like this, or this, or this, right? And um, yeah, reverse any subarray, and you can do this as many times as you like. That's my understanding of what, what they're saying here anyway. And if that's true, then basically you can swap things as, as much as you like. So how do we approach the problem then? I would say the only thing that matters is uh, is if essentially if a equals to b uh, except for except for the order right the order doesn't matter we want to check if a is equal to b except for the order now there are several ways to do this and of course you could have repeated elements right so two could be there uh, in a multiple times and well b as well now if the if the integers were unique in the list then you could use python then you could use a set or a dictionary in other words a hash set or a hash map but since elements can be repeated you have to do something a bit different um, what you could do is you could count how many times each element occurs right and if the counts are the same for both then, you know, then there has to be a way of getting from one to the other by reversing the subarrays uh, some number of times. So th then we need some sort of method to count the elements in A and count the elements in B and then be able to compare it. So conveniently enough, in Python, there's a counter uh, class which you can import. So I'm going to do import, actually I'm going to do from collections import counter that's it's literally called counter and let me just open up a python interpreter here to show you what counter does so i can uh, do from collections import counter okay and then i can pa give uh, pass a list to counter for example, one, two, three, three, like that, and it'll count the, the the items in the list for you and return basically a Python dictionary. Cow, uh, I should need to spell that correctly. Counter, okay, and it basically returns a dictionary with the keys being uh, the items in the list and the values being the number of times they occur. Right, so three occurs twice because we have two threes here. Uh, the one is there once, and two is there once as well. So you could also write this yourself, or write a function that does this yourself quite easily, just by keeping track of a dictionary and then uh, incrementing the value every time you see you see the key in the list, right? So this is not hard to do, but since um, since this is often used, there's a handy tool in the collections library. So I'm going to be just, uh, you know, counting the elements in each, in each list. So I'm going to do counter of array A. 
And then we want to check if that's equal to counter of array B, right? And they're going to be equal when all the keys and all the values are the same. And so if that's true, then we return true. And if it's false, we return false. So we just return that. And that should do the trick. So let's run it and see what happens. Um, this always takes a second. Okay, so it passed the two test cases. The Obviously, the test cases, are, um, there should be, ideally, they'd have more test cases here, right? They're not even testing the case where where you have multiple items appear in the same list, right? But uh, but anyway, we passed the two test cases, and this is my way of thinking about it, and it seems to work. So, uh, yeah. All right, thank you for watching. That's it for this one.